talk about penguins. So for right now, I'm going to show you some cool little pictures of these penguins. I'll roll really close so you can see them. And here's some more cute little pictures of these penguins. And that is all. So um, if you want to check out this book or any other site we have, this is uh, published by Tangerine Press and Imprint of Scholastic. It is called Polar Animals and it is by Sally Morgan. So if you just tell us that you want some books on some polar animals, we'll be more than glad to show you. I have another book. I'm just going to show you a few pictures. We're not reading it. It is a non-fiction book, so it doesn't mean it is true. It is written by Seymour Simon about penguins. And it's published by Collins, an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. Look at all those penguins. They're so cute. And this one looks super heavy. And we got some swimming. There's some in here. Aww. So cute. Oh, one's keeping the egg warm. One in a thousand of the babies. One's being chased, and then that looks super cold. I don't think I could brave that. And then the little baby penguins. And these are my favorite. I love their eyebrows. <laughs> They're macaroni penguins, penguins, which is funny. Macaroni penguins. There's another penguin. And some more. Okay, I have a cool magazine too that we have here that I was going to show you. Actually, I have two pages, I think. So this one is Dive Into Penguins, and it is a poem by Jennifer Sobier. And it is Rick Ranger, or Rick Jr. Ranger Rick Jr. So we have penguins can't fly, but they sure are cool. Find out why these read aloud poems. So Rockhopper Penguin has a funny feathered face, which is those eyebrows. He is good at hopping over rocks to get from place to place. Ready, set, jump off the ice. It must be time for lunch. Adelaide, penguins dive right in to find some fish to munch. Little Emperor Penguin Chick sits on Daddy's toes. There she stays snug and warm even when it snows. No penguins, even Galapagos, can soar up into the sky. It's when they're underwater that these birds can really fly. This penguin, called a Jitu, thinks it's pretty neat to hop out of the waves and go surfing on his feet. And then we have Magellanic. Penguins teach their babies how to speak, but they don't talk like you and me. They cackle, moo, and squeak. Baby chin strap penguins match their rocky nesting places, but when the chicks grow up, they'll have stripes under their faces. King penguins waddle on parade beside the ocean blue, marching on their stubby legs is just what penguins do. That's the end of that one. And I had another one. So, I'm gonna play a guessing game with you. We are not talking about this animal today, but that is okay, because we will eventually talk about it. So, we live in the Arctic. The Arctic is an area around the North Pole at the very top of the world. It is cold here most of the year. So we have an Arctic fox that runs across the snow. A puffin flies over the cold water. Walrus rests on an ice floe. And then here's our guessing game. I live in the Arctic too. Guess who I am? My paw is bigger than a dinner plate. I am a very strong swimmer. My thick fur works as a blanket to keep me warm. Can you guess who I am? We're gonna open the flap, are you ready? So they said Paul, something like a polar bear. A polar bear, it's a sea bear. A polar bear is at home in the icy waters of the Arctic. Then we have our different Arctic animals. We have a puffin, Arctic fox, walrus, polar bear, penguin. So I hope you enjoyed that, that's super neat. Our next thing that I have is I can draw some polar animals. So if you're interested in drawing polar animals, we have, this is a cool book. It's by Helene Larox Hogan. And it's published by Garth Stevens Publishing Books. And we'll see if we can't find... We'll just look through it. Oh, let's have some fun. Polar bears in winter. You can draw your polar bear. We have a seal family that you can draw. 
we have walruses on ice. And then we're going to go into the Arctic. We have a musk ox. It's a big bad wolf. Reindeer of the tundra. And the tundra. Party penguins. What up, party peeps? This is what we're talking about. Party penguins. The sea elephant. Looks like a walrus. Traveling albatross. Looks like a seagull. And a frozen land. We have the whale and its little baby. It's a calf. We have a funny looking narwhal. And then now we have oceans. That's it. So they're not going to put anything about their oceans. So if you want to check any of those cool books out, just let us know. We will be more than glad to get those for you. So today we're going to talk about penguins. And penguins start with a P. Penguins. Polar animals. Polar bear. Penguins. We got a P. So our little guy right here, do you know who he is? He's a penguin. Paper penguin. Then we have a, do you know what that is? We have an igloo. I've always wanted to build one of those. I always thought it would be neat. We have a, do you know what that is? Just blah, blah, blah. Kind of looks like this. It's a fish. And we have this cool thing that, it's really not cool, but it sinks things. <laughs> it's in a cool area. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> yeah. And it's really, really cold. It's a glacier or an ice block. And we have a, we'll talk about this later on, it goes rawr. It's a polar bear. And we have a bucket that says gone fishing. So we had to have some worms to catch these fish. So there's our words that we're going to be using possibly today in our books. Our first book for today is a penguin story. This poor little guy looks so lonely out there and so cold. If you can tell, I love it. Penguins, I love penguins. A penguin story. It is by... Antoinette Portis, and it is published by Harper Collins Publishers, and it looks like he's getting left behind. White, thanks Edna, like yesterday. Black, like tomorrow. Blue, 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 forever. There is white ice for sliding, says Edna. There is black night for seeing stars. There is blue sea for hunting fish. But there must be something else. I think she's thinking there has to be more out there. Edna calls a little penguin, come play with us. I can't, she says, I'm busy. Doing what, asks the twins. Looking for something that's not white, not black, and not blue. When you get tired of looking, come play, says the little penguin. Edna, calls a larger penguin. Come fish with me. I can't, she says. I'm busy. Doing what? Looking for something. You mean something to eat, he asks, like lunch? No, says Edna. Something else. When you get tired of looking, come fish, he says. I'll never get tired of looking, thinks Edna. Do you see something different? Something that's not blue, white, or black? Hopefully she sees it too. The next day she sets off to find the something else. The larger penguin packs her lunch. She looks and looks. And looks, oof, do you see something that's not blue, black, or white? Maybe this big thing right here, that's orange. Wow, I knew it, the world isn't only white, black, blue. Edna runs home as fast as she can. I found the something else I was looking for, come and see. Everyone rushes off without eating lunch or dinner. Those are going to be some mad penguins. I'd be hungry too. Look! 
Da ist Edna. Wow. Say the penguins. Look, this is really something else. Is this somebody else looking at the penguins? Oh, that was such a cute little page. When the scientists pack up their camp, Edna pitches in. It's the least she can do. The large penguin looks for lunch. The plane is ready to go. Thanks for the something else, thanks Edna. For the penguins, the way home seems short. You see what Edna has? They gave her something that wasn't white, blue, or black. Well, now we've got something that's not white, says Edna. Not black, says the twins. Not blue, says the little penguin. And definitely not lunch, says the large penguin. The next day, Edna wonders, what else could there be? It kind of reminds me of a chicken thing. Mm -hmm. That was such a cute little story, and I hope you enjoyed that. So our next little thing we're going to do you want to act like your hand's a snowflake? Wave at me. Good job. So we're going to hold it up high and we're going to act like it's falling down. Ready? The itsy bitsy snowflake fell down from the sky. It landed on my nose and it fell on my eye. It slid down my cheek and it landed on my tongue. And then it melted away and now my snowflake song is all done. All gone. Our next cute little story is Be Brave Little Penguin, and it is written by Giles Andre, and it is illustrated by Guy Parker Reese, so he drew the pictures. And it is published by Orchard Books and an imprint of Scholastic Incorporated. In the cold Arctic sunshine, where the icy ocean ends, lived a family of penguins with all their, their penguin friends. There were fat ones, there were thin ones, there were penguins short and tall, but little penguin Pip Pip was the smallest one of all. And while the other penguins were out swimming wild and free, little Pip Pip played alone, too frightened of the sea. Names like Scaredy Pip Pip echoed in his ears. He was sad and he was lonely, but he couldn't show his tears. What's the matter, Pip Pip, said his daddy one fine day. You can't be scared of water. What a silly, silly thing to say. Be gentle, said his mommy, taking Pip Pip by the hand. We all have certain fears that might be hard to understand. Come on, little Pip Pip, dip your toes in here just so. The water's calm and still now. You can do it nice and slow. But what if the water's freezing? Mommy, what if I get in and it's just too dark and deep for me? And what if, what if I can't swim? And what if, it, if there are monsters who smell me from their den and they slither up and eat me and I'm never seen again? I understand, little one, said his mommy with a kiss. But Pip Pip, what if now you try to think of it like this? What if in that water there are friends for you to meet? And what if it is light and warm and full of treats to eat? Take my hand, little one. Don't worry, I'm right here. Please trust me, little Pip Pip. Be brave and never fear. Slowly, Pip Pip made his way toward the water's edge. He stared down at the ocean from the slippery icy ledge. Then he looked back at his mommy, and as with his small little heart thumped, he closed his eyes and held his breath, and Pip Pip, you think he's going to jump? I hope he does. He jumped, Splash! For a while, his mommy waited, then she cried out, something's wrong! Pip Pip, please, where are you? You've been under way too long. So she leaped into the ocean, diving deep into the blue. Then suddenly from nowhere came a little voice that she knew. Mommy, Mommy, over here. Hey, Mommy, look at me. 
I'm swimming, Mommy! Swimming! Look, I'm swimming! Can you see? She turned and spinning circles through the water bright and clean, swam Pip-Pip with the biggest smile the world has ever seen. And as she watched her little one right there before her eyes, he burst up through the surface and he soared into the skies. Look, Mommy, I can fly. It's really not that tricky. You should try it, Mommy. Try. Oh, Pip-Pip, laughed his Mommy as she watched him with a grin. I don't know about flying, but oh my, you have learned to swim. Then all his friends gathered around as Pip-Pip landed with a bump and said, Sometimes all you have to do is be brave and just jump. I hope you like that story though, it's super cute. Our next little thing we're gonna do, we're going to act like we have snow on our forehead. Can you act like your hand's snowflake again? We'll wiggle it, good job. Snow on my forehead, I've got snow on my knee. Snow on my glasses, it's getting so hard to see. I've got snow on my shoes and snow on my hair. I've got snow on my mittens and there's just snow everywhere. Good job. Our next story we have is one day on our blue planet in the Arctic, Antarctic. It is by Ella Bailey, so she wrote the words, and this is so cool because look at all the cool pictures of the birds that live in the Antarctic. And it's published by Flying Eye Books. As day breaks on the Antarctic continent, an Adele penguin chick walls along the frozen coast. She weaves her way across the nesting grounds to where her parents are calling for her. Now she is old enough, this little penguin will head out into the vast Antarctic Ocean. Her mother feeds her one last meal. Before she sets out across the ice, she passes emperor penguins heading inland to their own nesting grounds. Until finally she reaches the water's edge, there is nothing left to do except jump. Yep. Jump! She cannot fly, but in the water she is as swift and as graceful as any bird in the sky. Her streamlined shape makes her an excellent swimmer and she travels many, many miles each day in search of food. Through the open southern waters where giants swim, and deep under the ice where a colorful world lies hidden, where she finds plenty of krill, fish, and squid to eat. But she has to avoid becoming food herself. Phew! Such a narrow escape. She heads further north where she discovers fur seals and strange colorful little penguins. It may be many years before this young chick returns to solid land. Until then, her thick layer of fat keeps her warm throughout the short winter days. And during the long bitter cold nights where she rests on floating ice. Until a new sun rises on another day on our planet. That is blue. And then we have under the ice in the Antarctic. Those are cool looking animals that are under the ice. Okay, for our last little activity that we're gonna do before our last book, we're going to take all my cool stuff down off my whiteboard. We'll see what we get when I ready polar bears. So we have five little penguins. They're not really little penguins, they're a little chunky. Got one, two, three, four, and five. So can you hold up five fingers? Good job. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five little penguins like to laugh and play. They had all fun, had fun on ice all day. So we have five, we're gonna take away one. So we have four penguins. I wonder count them. 
we have one, two, three, four penguins. Four little penguins all began to dive. Another penguin left them, and then there were, leave another one. We have one, two, three. So we have three little penguins. Three little penguins playing on the shore. Another penguin left, and there was just two little penguins. So we have one, two, two little penguins. Two little penguins swimming in the sea. Another penguin left them, and then there was just one little penguin. One little penguin with nothing to do, so he decided that he'd go join his other friends and find them. So we had one, we started with five, and now we have how many penguins? We have none. We don't have any penguins. So that was our little five penguins. Our next thing is our story, and I will show you our craft bag that we have. So I have a whole bunch of penguins on here. It is called Penguin Problems, and it is written by Jory John, and the pictures are illustrated by Lane Smith, and it is published by Random House New York, and my little friend the penguin is so cute. It's way too early. My beak is cold. What's with all the squawking, you guys? It snowed some more last night, and I don't even like the snow. That's too bright out here. I'm hungry. I'd like a fish. Where are all the fish? Hey, fish, get out of here. The ocean smells too salty today. I'm not buoyant enough. I sink like a rock. Way too dark down here. Burr. I said burr. Oh great, an orca. Oh great, a leopard seal. Oh great, a shark. What is it with this place? I don't like being hunted. I'm still hungry, but my flippers ache. I waddle too much. I look really silly when I waddle. See? I wish I could fly, but I can't. See? Everybody looks the same as me. I look the same as everybody else. Mom? I literally have no idea who you are. Dad? I literally have no idea what you were talking about. My name is Mortimer. I have so many problems and nobody even cares. Uh, excuse me, sir. What? Good afternoon. I sense that today has been difficult, but lo, look around you, penguin. Have you noticed the way the mountains are reflected in the ocean like a painting? Have you gazed upon the blue of the cloudless winter sky, my friend? Have you felt the sun as it gently warms your back? Have you simply stood with your penguin brothers and sisters and elders who adore you? Yes, some things are challenging out here. Yes, we all have difficult moments, from the walruses to the polar bears, from the whales to the penguins. But hear me now, my new friend. I wouldn't trade my life for any other, and I am quite sure you wouldn't either. I am certain that when you think about it, you'll realize that you are exactly where you need to be. Please think about what I've said, Penguin. Goodbye for now. Who was that guy? Why do strangers always talk to me? Walruses don't even understand Penguin problems. <sighs> okay. Okay. Maybe that walrus has a point. After all, I do love the mountains. And the ocean and the sky. And I have friends and family. This is my only home and this is my only life. Maybe things will work out after all. My beak is cold. It gets dark way too early. I think we're starting all over again. Poor little penguin. I hope you all enjoyed that story. That was super cute the first time I read it. So our craft bag this week is Label That Penguin. 
I'll show you what all we got. And our little craft bag. We have label that penguin, so you have to find out where is his bill. Where are his, not bill like all our bills, not at all. Where is his bill, his egg, feathers, flippers, and webbed feet. You have to find and label all those. Then we have a penguin word search for you older ones. We have draw and write about a penguin. You can draw a picture of a penguin, name it, tell it what its name is. I live in, I like to, I can also, I wish I could. Why do penguins wear tuxedos? And you get to fill in the blank with all these words over here. Be super fun. And then we have a penguin coloring page. And footprint matching game. So you have to match up those footprints to what you think animal that is. And our craft this week that you will get to do at home. And your heated handy bag, we have a penguin. Apparently there's two penguins in there. We have a snowflake that you will get. You can decorate that at home. And you have a penguin. So you're going to take your white part right here, your black part right here, and you're going to literally overlay it. There's your penguin. And you just have to color it. Because it didn't work the other way. I don't know why it's bigger than that. But there's your penguin. Or you can decorate it from that way. The beak is cut out right here, so you can decorate it. And you can send us pictures of your penguin if you would like to. The Wayne County Public Library. Our Facebook page, email, should be on our Facebook page. And I hope you all enjoyed our penguin story time. And next week's story time should be about owls. <laughs>